In this video, we'll be discussing about soil erosion. There are four questions we'll be discussing in this video. Question one, what is soil erosion? Question two, why is it an issue? Question three, what causes soil erosion? And the last, how can we prevent soil erosion? Let's start with question one, what is soil erosion? Soil erosion is the wearing away of the topmost layer of soil. This is really important to know. You might want to make a note of this. The question is, why exactly is this an issue? I mean, if you look at soil and we, you know, started digging through the land, we know that we'd find at least few meters of soil, if not more, right? And what's the big deal if the topmost layer of soil wears away? Why is that an issue? So uh, let's dig a little deeper. To understand this, we need to understand the layers of soil. So here are the layers of soil. We have five layers of soil mentioned here. The topmost layer is humus. The next layer is topsoil. And these two layers put together contain most of the organic matter in soil. These two layers are the layers that are the most fertile. So when these layers start wearing away, you can see humus disappeared. And if uh, we have more soil erosion and uh, the topsoil also disappears, now we're left with the bottom three layers. These three layers have very low organic matter and so they are infertile. So that's why soil erosion is a big issue. So next we begin with the causes of soil erosion. Deforestation is the single main cause for soil erosion. If you have land and let's say you have trees, these trees have roots and the roots of trees bind soil together. They hold them in place and that prevents this topmost layer from getting wiped away. But in case these trees are removed, you're left with nothing to hold the soil in place. And so now wind and water can easily cause erosion to the soil. The other thing that causes soil erosion is water. You might wonder how water can cause soil erosion. Rain, over irrigation, floods. These are all ways in which water can cause soil erosion. Look at this picture here. What do you see here? You see a field and you see water flowing through the field, right? Here's another picture. We see water flowing through some kind of muddy soil. Don't you think mud flows with the water in this particular uh, picture that we see? And don't you think in the other picture as well, mud is flowing with the water? And if mud flows off with the water, don't you think the topmost layer of soil would get eroded and would be washed away? That's exactly what happens. So water is a main reason for soil erosion. Now, we did mention rain over irrigation and floods. There's another scenario where we have a slope. And let's see what happens on a slope. If we have a sloping piece of land, maybe on the side of a mountain, and it begins raining. It rains and rains and rains. And then, uh, don't you think the humus and the topsoil would start moving downwards along with the rain? Right? And that does happen. So that causes soil erosion as well. The other case where so water can cause soil erosion is with rivers. Rivers can erode away the banks of the river. Look at this picture here. Don't you see that the walls of the river here, right here, they seem to have been eroded by the water? Yes, that's what happens when a river starts flowing very fast. It carries mud and soil along with it and that causes erosion. So we saw how water can cause soil erosion. Next we go to the next case. Look at this picture. What do you see here? I can see dust and the topmost layer of soil flying up. Wind is the cause, right? Wind can also cause soil erosion, especially in areas where soil is sandy and loose. Wind can blow away the topmost layer. Let's go to the next cause. Chemicals can cause soil erosion. You may ask how? Fertilizers often cause, cause soil erosion when they're used excessively. What happens is fertilizers cause soil to become loose. And let me show you a picture. You can see this whitish muddy water. Basically the fertilizer causes the soil to become loose and then it flows down with the water. Like that. There's another way in which chemicals cause soil erosion and that's called acid rain. Let's say you have a factory and uh, let's take a closer look. Let's, let's zoom in. Yep. Let's say this factory starts producing gases which are, you know, nitrogen oxides and sulfur oxides these gases go and get mixed up with water in the clouds and then that comes down as what we call as acid rain because this rain is acidic because it's polluted with all the gases that were produced by the factory 
Now, when this acid rain reaches the vegetation here, it will slowly die. The trees will die, plants will die, and then you have barren land, which will start getting eroded. So, uh, the cycle that's being followed here is something like this. We have air pollution that causes acid rain. That in turn causes loss of trees and plants, which ends up causing soil erosion. We've gone through the causes of soil erosion. Now let's go ahead and see how we can prevent soil erosion or reduce the effects of soil erosion. Aforestation is the first and foremost thing you want to do if you want to stop soil erosion. Barren land is always prone to soil erosion. If we plant trees, the roots hold the soil together, preventing it from flowing away with water or with wind. Do you remember talking about that slope where it was raining? How can we prevent soil erosion on such a slope? What if we cut the slope up and we made steps like these? Yes, this lessens the runoff of water. And so water can't flow down as easily as before. This particular method is called terrace farming and it's very useful on slopes. It's also called step cultivation. Let me show you a picture of this. Next, let's talk about how we can prevent rivers from causing soil erosion. We can build walls along river banks and that can cause prevention in soil erosion. Let's look at this picture. Can you see that wall there? That wall prevents the river from eroding away the soil that's there. In India, it's often called buns. This next example also deals with rivers causing soil erosion. These are called check dams. Let's try to understand what they are and how they work. If we have fast moving water in this direction and we want to slow it down, we can place a speed breaker of sorts and then you'll see that the moment the water hits this structure, it would start slowing down. And this structure is called a check dam. Let me show you an image. Here you can see that water is flowing down in this direction and it is flowing fast. The moment it hits that structure and moves down, it will slow down. And then slower water has less chances of soil erosion. The last method of preventing soil erosion that we would be discussing today is using trees as windbreakers, which is basically speed breakers for wind. Let's see how that works. If we have fast moving wind and we place trees, yes, this is just like the previous example, the wind would then slow down. Let me show you a picture. So we have a line of trees here and this line of trees would then cause wind to get stopped and not allow more soil erosion. So let's summarize. Uh, we wanted to answer a few questions. We've answered question one, what soil erosion is. We've answered question number two, why it's an issue. And now let's quickly summarize the causes and the preventions. The causes were deforestation, water, wind, and chemicals. The preventions that we discussed were afforestation. This step is the most important of them all terrace farming or step cultivation and we discussed walls for rivers so that they don't erode the sides of the banks we also discussed check dams and windbreakers that's it for this video